massage works but it works so much better when you've got your deep tissue body butter I'm just saying hello my fellow anatomy nerds I painted the rhomboids on for this video and we had a lot of fun doing it but I especially had fun because I got to actually paint something that looked like I peeled the skin off of my friend's back and I love doing that which is maybe a little grotesque but I don't know I'm just gonna go with it I especially like painting the rhomboids for this video because I got to paint the layers of the muscles on the back and I think that's a really cool thing to be able to see so as you can see I'm painting the bony landmarks of the spinous processes and then the medial border of the scapula and I've mapped out these big red sections on the back and they're gonna turn out to be all different layers of muscles that are underneath our skin and I had so much fun with this okay the spine I could spend so much time talking about the spine but in short, it is full of moving parts and all of those moving parts are wrapped with connective tissue. So I'm pulling the connective tissue on the left hand side away as it wraps into the traps. And then I am just cutting it off on the right hand side. I'm darkening the muscles right now, but you can kind of see how I've cut the, the layer of the connective tissue off on the right to show how the deeper layers also come underneath and connect right there. As I start to shade in some of the bony bits, I'm just gonna talk a little bit about the rhomboids and the scapula, because the rhomboids' main job is to pull the scapula in towards the spine, which is also known as a deduction of the scapula or retraction, just depending on how cool you wanna sound today. But the thing that always blows me away is that there are 16 other muscles pulling on the scapula in different directions. So ultimately, there is a big fat tug of war happening on that bone, and your rhomboids don't always win. So let's think about this from a posture perspective for a second. So if there are 16 other muscles pulling on the scapula, and at least three of them are on the front of the scapula pulling from the core cord process down and forward, the rhomboids are kind of up against a losing battle. They do not have gravity on their side, and they're working really hard to pull back all the time. So when we feel those quote unquote knots in our back and we wanna dig our rhomboids out and as massage therapists, we sometimes dive right in and that's the only place we go, we can't forget about all these other muscles that are playing this tug of war and really winning where the tightness is gonna end up in those muscles that are pulling down and forward as opposed to the rhomboids which are trying to pull back. So one of the key elements here is gonna be to loosen up those other muscles and make that fight easier for the rhomboids to win so they don't have to work so hard in the long run. The other thing about the rhomboids, while I'm pontificating here, is that the rhomboids are named after the geometry shape, the rhombus. So the rhombus is this diamond-like shape, and you can see it in the muscle itself. I'm starting to shade it in. And it's sandwiched between the erectors, which run up and down the spine, and the more superficial trapezius muscle, which really hits most of the spine and then converges at a point at the shoulder. So it makes sense that these three muscles, which are pulling in different directions and sliding against each other in this thin space, don't always communicate well with each other. I mean, imagine living in this space where there is somebody right in front of you and right behind you all the time, and you all want to do different things. I think that I might throw my own temper tantrum too. I get it. Yeah. <laughs> that would be horrible. Okay, so the last thing I want to say about the rhomboids is that they live in this space in the upper part of our body where we are supposed to be grounded in our core. Our rhomboids are not our core, so let go of them. Our core can be strong, let the rhomboids go. Let the pecs go, let the traps go, let the levator scapula go. Let all of this stuff sway like branches from a tree and let your core do the work. Those rhomboids, they need a break. The rhomboids, what do they do? They shrug your shoulder, otherwise known as elevate the scapula. They also show your pride. They retract the scapula, like I was saying before. And they also protect your armpits from oncoming ticklers or downwardly rotate the scapula, either one. And isn't a nice deep breath just good for everybody? So here's some really cool news. I am almost at 100,000 subscribers, which I never thought possible and I'm so excited. Cannot thank you guys enough. Please subscribe if you haven't already for more great videos like these and I'll see you guys soon.